Poland has been done wrong countless times throughout history. All the way back to 1772 up to World War II. Now this is not surprising because Poland is also located in one of the worst positions in geographical Europe. It is on the European plains as well as being sandwiched between two of the biggest players in Europe, Germany and Russia. The cycle of wrongdoing ends here with this video. It is time for the oppressed to become the oppressor. All right, we are in the game now. Let's go ahead and type in Poland here and copy that so we can paste it into the search bar to hopefully get Poland faster. I doubt anybody's going to be playing Poland, but you know, you never know. Sometimes this game is surprising. We have somebody saying great motherland in the chat. So maybe we have a uh, Soviet Union former. All right, let's choose Poland. First course of action, we're going to build electronics and that is it. We're not going to do anything else with our money. In fact, what we're going to do next is justify on Lithuania and Latvia. It's very important that we do not run down the economy. As you never know, Germany may go for us right off the bat. And we need the money to counter that. So we're going to keep that extra 50 million, which is only going to allow us to make two factories. But that should be fine. I'm checking out the leaders right now. Let's see. There is no head of research, which is what I was looking for. But uh, let's go ahead and put on advanced research. Oh my gosh, not good leaders e either. Uh, we're going to do the support guy though. Yeah, as you can see, look at that. Uh, we already have Germany moving in here. So next course of action, we're going to build a fort on this city. going to go ahead and declare war on Lithuania. There's a German war justification. All right, this should be interesting. Okay. Let's go ahead and take over Lithuania. There is the German war justification. It looks like he's just infantry spamming, which is actually, which is actually good for us because, I mean, yeah, it's just infantry. It's 10k stacks of infantry. Ooh, he's bringing artillery in. Okay, maybe he's actually better than I, I thought he was. He's brought the artillery in. Maybe he knows what he's doing over here. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Oh my gosh, hold up. Are we going to get that? <laughs> We're going to slide right back. We're going to slide right by that 30k stack and get his artillery right there. Awesome. That's funny. Now that we have money, max military spending. Oh my gosh, so important. Max government spending and max research spending. Well, we got his artillery right there, but that's only one of many soon, soon to come, I'm sure. Oh, that actually didn't kill the artillery though. Dang it. Well, that's a bit unfortunate, but that's fine. He's moved his artillery closer. I'm going to go ahead and take that out because that's a bit concerning. We're going to have to buy our steel and motor parts from a player. So, I mean, hopefully they accept, right? Come on. one. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, we're doing pretty good right now. Let's, uh, just, let's just keep this up. Let's just keep this up. I'm going to go ahead and justify on Eastern Europe. We won't be using those war goals for a while, but it'll, it's important that we can go ahead and get them. We're going to need to build a fort on our capital. We should have done that a lot earlier. I'm just, I'm just looking for the head of research. That's the important one. Let's go ahead and take over Latvia. He's getting invaded by France, which I don't like. I don't like when players come in later on and steal all of the... Uh, everything you did. So we're actually going to cancel our war goal on Ukraine. And we're actually going to justify on France. That's right. We are going to declare war on France for... Taking all the credit for what we did in Germany. Not cool, man. Not cool. And I'm actually going to build a aircraft factory now. Because I, I we need aircraft parts, especially if we're picking an, especially if we're picking a fight with the French. And I'm going to go ahead and declare war on Belarus. Give us another million pop city. I can actually start making tanks now. Oh, wait. Italy's also invading. Italy's invading France as well. We are going to do static lines. Wave of national, awesome, more manpower, nice. That's always good, isn't it? Our our entire economy is literally just electronics. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm going to just fight on Czech Republic. We have our ports back, and we're actually going to use that to make a destroyer. So pretty juicy, Nate, pretty juicy military we're having as Poland. And we're also going to go ahead and declare war on France now. We have a we have a major war going on in Europe right now. So it's a, it's like a three-way war. 
I'm not going to take out Germany. I need Germany alive. So we're not going to go for the capital. I need Germany alive to be, to be the buffer state between me and France, essentially. So we're actually going to save Germany by being at war with them. <laughs> Crazy concept, but uh, yeah. We have our destroyer now. Our oil is fine for now. Home defense looking good, looking good. We're running a deficit right now, so I'm going to go ahead and use half of our money to build fertilizer factories that may be a risk but we'll see all right we took the canal let's go ahead and close that canal man i'm going all the way here let's also make some attackers now we have the we have the most diverse military in europe right now so i would say we're doing pretty good i do need some more manpower though also what even just happened here the usa takes over uk really are you serious right now all right, support leader again. Germany's gone. Nice. Okay, how's it? How's the attacker doing? It's still being made. That's because we're making the fertilizer right now. Ooh, yikes. Okay, we're about to be in debts. That's fine. Uh, maybe that'll actually give us the IMF loan, but we'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and put some pressure on Paris with that destroyer we have. Let's go ahead and take over. Check. Oh, so I completely forgot about Belarus. He is going for Berlin. All right, Kievan Rus has just justified on us. Interesting. Are right, they've declared. How's their military looking? They don't have an air force, so I would say we're pretty good. Okay. Is that French destroyer going to beat mine? That would not be good. I'm going to try to take out the Rhineland here so we can get the million pops for manpower. Okay, we have an ideology. What do we choose here? I want to go I want to go nationalist. I, I wanted to go fascist in this game, but manpower is a problem. So I'm thinking we actually go socialist possibly. Well, you know what? We could just go limited. We could just go limited. You know what? Let's just go limited. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just switch over to limited. Okay, he made some anti-air. All right, that's going to be... That's going to be interesting for us to deal with. No, oh, I misclicked. Oh, no. I misclicked. No way, I just misclicked. That's so bad. That's fine. That's fine. Thank God that did not happen during an invasion. Thank God that did not happen during an invasion. That would have been so bad. That would have been terrible. However, our troops are no longer entrenched. So yeah, that's just great. He's made some artillery. We're just going to snipe that. He is not even defending with any infantry. Okay. I mean, this guy definitely seems like he knows, ha has an idea of what he's doing here. So this should be an interesting fight. Let's see. That anti or shouldn't do much to that attacker though, right? I feel like it just shouldn't. But well, we took it out anyway, so that's fine. I'm like, I'm about to just capture all of the million pop cities in Germany. I am confused on why Kievan Rus declared war on us and what Russia is doing exactly. Russia must have been a new player for sure. And he knows that we have attackers now, so which means he's probably going to make some fighters. So let's go ahead and prepare for that. Oh, uh, yes. Great nation of Poland here. I mean, we can try to take France out of the war. Let's go ahead and peace Germany because we can take them over. Wait, no, we can't. What do they have? You have some of our cities that we need to take. Okay, we got some of our cities back and we got four. We got four cities in the Rhinelands. I'm actually going to put more. I'm going to try to put, we're going to put more effort into trying to take France over here. I'm going to put all of our resources into the conquest of Paris. Hopefully, hopefully this isn't a mistake. Dude, can we take Paris with that? I think we can take Paris with that. Fortification effort. Is he not going to defend Paris? Because I'm about to just take it. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's see. Hopefully we can get him. As for the East Eastern War, I'm going to actually try to get a white piece with Kievan Russ. I don't know why he declared war on me, but uh, yeah. Come on, we're both just wasting time here. USA being in Europe, though, that's not something I expect him. He's distracted with China, at least. That's, that's the good thing. He's making infantry now to block. Come on, we can just kill that instantly, right? Get back to the siege, please. Nice, they didn't block it. Perfect, perfect. A lot of resources I just put into taking Paris. Hopefully it pays out. Okay, oh, here comes the trash talk, my friends. <laughs> okay. Uh, if I'm an average noob, I don't know what that makes you, my friends. <laughs> I don't know what that makes you if I'm just an average noob. <laughs> taking the rest of France and Germany is going to be quite interesting, though. I will say that. That's going to be quite interesting. As well as our Eastern War, which is not progressing anywhere. 
Uh, for some reason, Kievan Rus has declared war on us and is just stalling the war effort. I'm not sure what's happening there. France saying who wants to invade Poland is crazy. Okay. Dang, bro. It's personal, isn't it? Whoa, our stability as well. Our stability is destroyed. I just need more manpower. I mean, let's let's go for Luxembourg. I'll take some more money as well. I mean, who, who wouldn't, right? All right. What am I going to do now? We're going to actually make consumer goods now oh wow he's he's he just g-worded me he's committing crime he's committing acts of terror in poland this man really just scorched my my territories only that is insane bro okay he just wants latvia and lithuania but i need that like that's what i need so i can't give that up oh wait hold up what is going on oh no way switzerland is aiding france in the war that's crazy you need aid against a Poland that has been at war the entire... Okay. I ain't even gonna question it. Alright, next up, stalwart defense. Who's gonna try to go for the Rhineland here? I do need to defend that because we need the... We need the Rhineland. That's a big part of our... That's a big part of our population and manpower gain. So we definitely need that. Hopefully it doesn't take the million pops. Alright. Successful defense on that. Let's see what Kevin Russ is doing. He's trying to get Switzerland in the war. France is trying to get Switzerland in the, to join the war. Crazy, bro. Crazy. I mean, we hold this capital. How how long? How much longer can he last, dude? Like, honestly. I'm going to go ahead and take out all forms of his tank production. I'm going to take out every single one of his uh, million pop cities so we can't make any tanks. And that should be the... Uh, that should end the war. Yeah, if he can't make tanks, tanks would be our only problem right now. So if he can't make tanks, we're basically good to kill the rest of France here. Getting people, uh, trying to get, getting a superpower to invade me is crazy. Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? USA joins the war. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Well, that may just set us back. I mean, we'll have to see what the USA does if... All right, there goes all of the French million pop cities, and he just got Ada Manpower, I think. He just said thank you in the chat, so, I mean, something just happened there. I think he just got Ada. Oh, he just got Ada for sure, yeah. China's still fighting America. Let's block these things from landing. He said, I have so much tech. Nah, I just, <laughs> I just have static lines, bro. <laughs> I, I, it's a good thing that I did remove all of his entire ability to make tanks though that was a good that was a good move by me for sure because he could he he would he's he was not able to make tanks when he just got aided a whole bunch of manpower right there so that was very good very good move also what is he even doing i feel like i could just walk through keevan russ right now what is he doing okay we have an ideology now let's pick up nationalism nice bro that's what i'm talking about man i just want like why do you want my treasury and everything I like how our attackers are just shredding him before he can even land. By the time he lands, his tanks are just absolutely wrecked. Then we can just finish them off. Very nice. Just like that. Well, he has battleship capabilities now, so we can't no longer use that destroyer to our advantage. China left the game? Oh, nah. China left the game, guys. It might be over. It might be over for us here. China was the China was distracting the USA. Now they don't. Now they can't. I'm going to do something here. This actually may be a major mistake. I may be making the most major mistake here, but I need to, I want to take his I want to take his port. I'm going to try to take his port. We'll see. We'll see. Risky move. Let's try it. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, we took it, bro. We took it. Dude, if if we had manpower. If we had manpower, only if we had manpower, dude. Now that his, uh, now that that port is gone, we can move our destroyer back in. I'm gonna take over the Netherlands here. Keevan Rust is still chilling for some reason. Our war declaration was blocked right there. I gotta make sure he can't build up an air force. France, how's France doing? Has he left the game yet? No, he hasn't. Uh, I'm gonna pull another risky move here. We're gonna do another risky move. We're gonna auto capture with our infantry. All of his cities left are just small cities. They're not million pops, so I believe our infantry should be able to cook here. We just need to get, we just need to kill France and we're out of the war. We just need to kill France. What I'm actually going to do is try to take his million pops. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? There goes the Netherlands. Let's try to take the rest of France here. We are going to need to cook. 
Okay, quantum computing. The losses actually ain't that major because we've both been weakened. It was a good move to declare war on France when he started the war with Germany. France scorches all. GG well played. Even though you called me a noob, GG well played. Good, good try, bro. That was interesting. That was very interesting. America definitely had me worried there. We can now focus on killing Kievan Rus now. Let's go for a tax collection. I want to have a good economy when, when we get out of this war. I haven't checked my leaders in a while. Let's see them. Not any good leaders, basically. Yeah, like no good ones. Actually, the chief judge. This chief judge is decent. We can pick up favor the political elite by doing that. If you don't know, favor the political elite is one of the best policies in the game. After we kill Kievan Rus, we should be able to go straight into Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. If he offers a white piece, maybe I would accept it. Maybe. And then we would just build up. We would be even stronger and then we would just be able to kill them later. But uh, he's not offering a white piece. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go into him. I don't know why he hasn't been attacking us. That is a bit weird. We just need to take out this anterior here. Oh, hold on. <laughs> capital, capital wide open. That's not good. He has no, I don't know what he's doing with his military. I'm not going to underestimate this, whatever he's doing though. Because I mean, he still could spam a lot. I'm st I'm just confused. I'm, I'm really confused on what this guy's doing. But uh, I think he was just putting pressure on us. I think he, I think he just wanted Latvia and Lithuania, honestly. Which makes me feel kind of bad. But we got to, we got to do what we got to do. Okay, let's make some more tanks here and let's just go ahead and finish off the rest of France, I guess. What's left of them, right? If this leader if this leader stays alive, which I'm hoping he does, but if he if he does stay alive, that's gonna be a very good general to use against the Americans. We can just line the we can just line this coast up with artillery. And because of that general, it's going to obliterate everything. There goes Kievan Russ. Minus a minus 12 million deficit after we ended that Ukraine war. Jeez. That's the problem with taking on a lot of population fast. Okay, there goes France. Very nice. There we go. We just need to kill Slovakia now. We can actually form... We can form the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, but I don't want to do it because I want that flag. So I'm going to form Zapoduslavia first. We're almost through fascism. What is America doing? This guy is bullying the server right now, if I'm being honest. This guy is just picking on the entire server. Which I'm going to assume means he's probably good, right? He's probably good at the game. So I'm definitely not I'm definitely not going to take this guy lightly. What I will do is take out some AIs because I need to because <laughs> I need to get some money. I'm hoping we can get, be the I'm hoping we can be the guy to uh, balance the US power. Okay, truce is almost over. We got to do all of this pretty quick here. Hopefully the USA isn't just to find their own war goal on us. That would be a bit of an issue. All right. Form Zap and form Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. Are we even making money? We're making no money. I need to drop my research all the way. I need to drop my anti corruption all the way. As well as my military spending halfway. Okay, we make 7 million right now. Polish economy. Absolutely disgusting. Somehow, though, somehow, though, uh, the Americans actually have not been developing at all. They've been picking on the server, but without having any development in their lands, which is crazy. All right, declare war on Sweden, Denmark, and Finland. I'm going to just fight on Jersey and Guernsey. Let's get press censorship, prosperity, and public service act. America owns China now. All right, we're about to be out of, we're about to be out of debt here. Somebody just released all. Who do is that? I'm interested to see what the Ottoman Empire is doing. Actually, I'm going to offer them an alliance. Yes, I think it's better for us to uh, get into an alliance with them. Okay, we're out of debt now. Awesome. Our goal for stability is still absolutely nothing. What I'm going to do now is spam some tanks. We're going to go for Russia now. Uh-oh. Hold up. Something's happening over here. Something is happening in England. I don't have the economy for this, bro. I do not have the economy to deal with them. The Polish will not be picked on by the Americans. Okay. Next up, military service. Uh, improve infrastructure. Enforce party loyalty. That should be all of the main policies. 
give us a decent boost in the rankings. Yeah, we're about to be a superpower. We get a chief of, we got a general of the army that is nationalist. That's so good. Oh, dang. Oh, and he became corrupt basically instantly. Mans became corrupt literally instantly. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can develop everything right here. We, we can actually develop everything. That's what we're going to do. America wants an alliance. Nah. Not after you joined the French war against us. W Ottoman Empire as well. He's not going to ally the USA. W. W. W Mans. I'm glad we think alike. Let's go. We actually all, we also have a chief of staff, which we're going to pick up. Nice. Okay, we can declare war on Russia now. As well as Kazakhstan. Yeah, let's just declare, let's just declare war on all of these states. Oh yeah, we, we, we might actually just beat the USA because of purely a tech advantage. I mean, let's, let's be honest here. He's been at war the entire game. He hasn't been able to develop. There's no way this man has went into tech. He probably just unlocked quantum computing right now. There's just no way he's went into technology. So we're definitely going to have a tech advantage over this guy. And now he's getting the, now he's getting the nuclear power on his side. Okay, bro. He's just donated money to the uh, Australasian Federation, which means he now has the potential to influence what Australia does with his nukes. So this should be an interesting challenge. In-game challenge here, beating the USA. This should be very, very interesting. Because now we have to worry about nuclear bombs hitting us, which is just awesome. We need to kill Australia, that's right. I agree with Rio de la Plata here. Australia is a problem. I'm actually going to ally Rio de la Plata. We have a little coalition here. We have Rio de la Plata, me, and Ottoman Empire. Little co coalition forming up against the United States. You're going to make him nuke us? Wow, that's literally what I just said. That is literally what I just said. I ain't nuking no one. Oh, really? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, make waste your time on nukes and then say you ain't nuking nobody. Yeah, right, bro. Yeah, right. Nice. Very good. Very well. I think after this development, we're ready to go for America. We need to go for America probably as soon as possible before they can... Uh, actually start getting tech as well as start developing which they already have started developing they're now tier two on all of their cities i mean let's just see how much america is making alone america core is making 68 million china is making them 40 so they have about 100 million income right now all right tax collection five now that's going to give us a decent amount of income, I would say. Oh, yeah, a decent amount. We're actually catching up to America, believe it or not. All right, we have a pretty good coastline set up against the Americans. All right, we're going to build our shipyards on these ports right here. I'm going to place a shipyard, too, on this port. I've, I was always confused, and I still am confused, on why there's a port literally in the center of land. Why there's a port right here, but I won't question it because it makes for easy defense of this port so we'll just make the we'll just make the shipyard two on this one australasians halfway to nukes all right we're gonna have to hurry this up before this guy actually ends up getting nukes i will nuke who you want oh uh oh i think rio de la plata would be an enemy of us so i'm not gonna lie we may end up backstabbing him later on because i'm not really uh i'm not really getting the vibe i'm not really getting the vibe from this guy if i'm being honest it's going to start making this navy, shall we? All right, let's start making that shipyard too now. Yeah, now he's invading India now. Like we cannot, we cannot, I cannot, uh, I cannot let America get a billion people. It's just not something that I can allow to happen. All right, carrier, we're making the carrier now. Yeah, I don't like how toxic this guy is. That's that's my problem. I don't like how toxic he is, and uh, that's that's why I went to war. I'm not. Uh, I don't like the toxicity from this guy, so we're gonna wipe him out. Um, I'm, I'm gonna assume America has seen this, right? I mean, that just doesn't make sense to ignore that. Oh yeah, Patriot Grande is cooking America right now. What the? What is? What, what's the problem over here? Oh, we can get a base right next to this guy in Seoul. Wow. Okay then, let's do that. We can get a base next to this guy. What is like? What is happening down here, dude? The amount of spam is crazy. He's just sending 10k stacks as well. Okay. 
Australia has just messaged me. Are you neutral with me? Honestly, I kind of am neutral with Australia. I mean, I would like him to... I would like to see him dead purely because he has nukes. But I mean, as long as those nukes aren't guaranteed to be used on me, then I guess we have no problems at all. Also, let's declare war on Canada now. Yeah, we need to stop Patriot Grande. This guy's cooking America right now. What is America doing? I just gave this guy 5 million manpower. What is my guy doing right now? He's just taking India, jeez. And Japan, he's taking Japan now as well. I mean, as long as he knows how to manage stability, I mean, he should be fine, actually. But that's a lot of land getting taken, I will say that. That is a lot of land getting taken. And population. We can already see it in the rankings. This is not because I've grown, this is because the USA has shrank. Let's declare war on Seoul, as well as Sao Paulo now. India just declared independence from the United States. That's, uh, okay. Never mind. Okay, this guy is not, it's not looking good for America. How long until our truce ends with Patriot Grande, though? 31 November 9th. Okay, we should be fine now. His capital is getting taken. <laughs> His capital is getting taken. What is that, Australia? What the, what is, what is this? <laughs> what is this line of troops, dude? What is this line of troops? <laughs> All the way from India. Just a line of troops at uh, directed at Argentina's capital. Ooh, dang, okay. <laughs> he said that boat has already sailed, sucker. I wonder if he has nukes or something now. South Africa has begun to construct some nuclear we What? This guy has- South Africa has nukes as well? Oh my god, we got a lot of people to kill, bro. I think me and Australia are chilling, but I don't know uh, about South Africa. They've both destroyed each other. I'm gonna send some aid to Patriot Grande. Two million manpower should be good. Proxy warring both sides right now. America just uh, called GG. Okay, then. They, yeah, they destroyed each other. They des they destroyed each other. Oh, he said he's gonna go. Rip. Okay. We couldn't get the USA war that we wanted to. Oh, yeah. We gotta kill Patriot Grande. Come on. This guy's just way too toxic, bro. <laughs> Are you sure you're gonna be able to recover? <laughs> Hopefully hinting towards my war that I'm about to do on this guy. He said, yeah, okay. We'll see. Uh, I'm plotting something. I'm plotting something against this guy. <laughs> okay, that's, that's gonna tell him right here. This is gonna tell him right here. He knows. He's gonna know if I don't if I just ignore that. He's gonna know. Oh uh, yeah, nah, he know, he knows now. <laughs> he knows. He knows. He knows. South Africa thankfully accepted our alliance, so we can just unally him. Yeah, where are the Australian nukes at, dude? Yeah, he knows. Oh, he knows. He ran. He ran. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I got him. My tanks purely just staring at this man uh, scared him off. <laughs> Let's see who's next. America is actually still up there in the rankings. I would say we've won this game though. I'm gonna keep, I'm not gonna kill Ottoman Empire because I've, this guy's kind of been chilling. I'm probably just gonna wipe out America just so it kind of secures us as the superpower of the game because um, Ottoman Empire is actually competing with us right now. Eventually. Okay, I would say we have basically secured our rank as dominant power of the server, unstoppable. Though those South African nukes are quite scary. <laughs> those South African nukes are definitely quite scary. They have a lot of nukes. Yeah, they have a ton of nukes. So those are quite scary. So yeah, the only person who is a little bit challenging to our power right now is South Africa. I mean, South Africa is challenging to everybody's power. He has nukes, right? After all, South Africa is curbing Australia. It looks like South Africa is going to launch nukes on Australia. Well then, it's time to wipe out our only opponent. So sorry, South Africa, but it needs to be done. He is our only threat right now. All right, I've just made the demand to him that he should dis- Okay, he said no. All right. War is decided because this guy can't have nukes because he is currently our only threat right now. We are allied with the Ottoman Empire, so they're fine. He is, uh, he's completed a construction of a nuclear weapon. Okay, that's not good. I'm going to be using the Ottoman carrier that has been so awesomely placed right next to South Africa. And I'm honestly thinking that we don't peace America. I haven't actually fact checked this, but we don't technically own New York City. So if he nukes it, we won't take a stability loss from that, right? I would think so. 
But if we did peace America and annex all the land, then we would own New York. And then if he nuked it, we would take stability loss. So I'm not sure. I haven't fact checked that, but it makes sense. So we actually can't annex the United States until after the South African War. Who ripped the Ottoman Empire left? Dang it. Okay. Now we can declare war. Just go ahead and take over South African Union. All right. Waiting on those nukes. Yep, here they come. Oh, he, has a, he had a lot more than I expected. Uh-oh. I did not see those on his capital. ruh -roh. Well, let's see the destruction of the nukes here. I'm going to try to take out his enrichers if I can. Let's see him. All right, he just hit Paris with some war exhaustion. Oof. That's actually a decent amount. Let's see, where's the next nuke going? Next nuke, I think, is hitting the capital. Next nuke is hitting that capital. It gives me point two. He has another one incoming. And then another one. Okay. He's launched this one over at Asia. So I guess we'll see if it actually, if occupied territory actually will affect your stability. Oh, he hit the Rhineland. Ooh. Okay, there's another decent amount of war exhaustion from that. This nuke is directed at Asia. Let's see. Is he about to nuke something that, uh, where is this going to? It's going to hit Seoul. Okay, let's see if this increases it. Oh, it does. Oh, that's disgusting. Thank God he did not launch at New York. If he launched at New York, that would be... That war exhaustion would have spiked. Thankfully, he did not launch at New York. That would have been... <laughs> that would have been a bit concerning. Anyways, let's go ahead and take over the United States. Now that we have Mythbuster that out of the way. Okay, it's just his capital left. Wait, we, we may just be able to annex him before. No, we don't have to take his capital. We can just annex him. All right, let's go ahead and annex this guy since he is now annexable. Okay. All of our threats have been... Are gone from the game. That's good. So that is... That's the end of the Polish game. Because we've just wiped out everybody who poses a threat to us. We are the strongest power. This is our land. Looks a little bit interesting... I think we have adopted some German genes, not too sure, but uh, looks it looks a bit interesting. We went all the way through Russia into China. A lot of border go a lot of border gore going on in China. Next is the USA. We occupy most of the USA. Manpower cap 44 million, population 900 million, treasury 5 billion 300 million. Definitely not a lot. Here's the rankings of the game. We are rank one by a mile. Here is our leaders that we chose for this game. Chief Judge, Head of Government, Head of Research, General of the Army, and Chief of Staff. General of the Army has given us 30-20 for attack and defense. Chief of Staff has given us 14 attack. Pretty dang good. Here's our, let's get on to our policies now. Advance the research, enforce party, favor the political elite, improve infrastructure, press censorship, military service, Prosperity Act, Public Service, Welfare Act. Lots of, lot of policies this game. Here's our economy. Kind of not good. We can just say that. It's, um, it's definitely not developed. That's the, that's the, that's the word I'm looking for. We were not, we are, we are not that developed of a country. But I mean, 100 million income, that's pretty good, right? Here's our economic laws. Pretty dang basic. Pretty dang, pretty dang basic and boring. Anti-corruption was all the way up there. And that's actually the that's actually one of the main reasons why we are in such a deficit is because the anti-corruption costing us 60 million. Here is our research, max quantum computing, political, flexible governance, national identity. Here is our aerial. We went to advanced in-flight refueling, economics, max tax, advanced auditing. You can see the rest. Support nothing, naval. Protect 3, Guns 3, Tanks, Firepower 3, Armor 4, Infantry Exoskeleton. So pretty decent, well-rounded research right there. Here's our Doctrines, Mass Production of course, Grand Fleet, Static Lines. Here's our Leaders, we have a pretty decent Army guy, good on support, good for artillery and anti-air attack. And here's our Navy guy. That was the Polish video. That was a pretty good game. I will say that was a pretty good game from the beginning in Europe all the way until those uh, 
those nukes in Africa. That was a really good game. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was fun to watch. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it is daytime for you, have a wonderful day today. If it's nighttime for you, have a good night's nice rest. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Once again, thank you for watching.